So we're going to talk about products that you're going to need. Yes, you need these products when you transition your little one from a crib to a big boy or big girl bed. Now, how we started this process was when she was about two and a half, we talked about the big girl bed for months, months and months and months. And we just talked about, my husband and I, we expressed how fun it would be to put all her little babies in her bed. So obviously each child is different. She never crawled out of her crib or climbed out of her crib. Sorry, she's staring at me. <laughs> she never climbed out of her crib. So um, that definitely helped keep her in her crib longer. Um, so that's a benefit. But if your kid child climbs out of the crib earlier than you'd want to, I suggest buying these items or just whenever you want to get your baby out of the crib into a bed. And so the items that I highly suggest are, um, my bed. yes, your bed. This, uh, this is a lower bed. We decided just to move the guest bedroom. Or I'm sorry. The guest bed into the guests and to the baby's room. Uh, I still call her baby and, um, a lower bed in case they fall on the ground. We pushed it against the wall. Um, and it, this is a queen bed. Like she's totally fine. She hasn't fallen out of this and it's been about eight months. Um, a mattress protector, huge mattress protector. And I actually Me. have a video. I'm hot. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh, don't kick this, please. Um, you can sit there. Sorry. Okay. She's trying to stay. Don't kick. Don't kick. Um, stay right there. I'm trying to make this fast. My child is, um, it's hard. It's hard to do this video because she sleeps with Mella for her naps and her, and this is the next product. She sleeps with Mella. This, I would never, um, I purchased this. She's bouncing now. Oh. I purchased this uh, knowing when we were going to transition her from a bed. I'm sorry, from a crib to a bed. So two products you need. One, uh, okay, she left. One. The mattress protector. You need a mattress protector if you're going to put your child into uh, any any kind of bed, any kind of bed outside of a crib. Two, second product, Mela. You need a Mela. Mela is basically a light that turns on green so your it's child water knows. Here. I'm yeah, sorry. Water in here. Water, hold on. Uh, basically, it's green so the child knows that they can leave the bedroom at a specific time because she would wake up at, I don't know, 6.30, um, sometimes even early, um, earlier than that. And she doesn't understand the concept of time. And she doesn't know what time it is. So if Mella, this little Mella here, if she is green, then she knows that she can come out of her bed. Um, and um, and that, that's basically it. And one very big um, suggestion I do want to make is when you know you want to transition with your little one from a crib to a bed, get Mella before you do that. So this, so we start Mella on day one. Okay, so we'll actually transition and talk about Mella. I won't exactly explain how to use Mella because it's so easy, but I just, this video is just, to be obviously very fast, very simple, just the products that you need when you transfer your little one from a crib to a bed. And it's these two products besides a lower bed or, you know, the crib with the, um, with the opening. Uh, but just these two products is the things I want to talk about. I do have a video that I previously did on the waterproof, I call it a waterproof mattress or waterproof sheets. It's just something that I started with my little one. It's actually a waterproof mattress protector. Okay. And this Mala. is Mella. And the reason why I said I didn't want to talk mostly about Mella is because she or he, however you want to refer to it, um, is so easy to set up. Um, I would say this, when her eyes are closed, she's on nap schedule. I was just messing with it prior to doing this video. Um, so I'll kind of do a rundown of what I do for her naps. So the greatest feature on this is the lock. So here's the lock. And my kid is very 
mischievous and curious and she loves to play with this thing. So I unlock it and then what you do to set your nap is you, this button is set. You'll see it go there. You set it for a nap. Nap. And then yes, my kid sleeps three hours for her nap. So the one thing that I just, it's not an issue. It's just, I wish it was a little different is if you could do like a nap for, um, here's how you switch the time right over here, go plus minus. So I wish it would do like two hours and 45 minutes or two hours and 15 minutes. And it's not a huge big deal. Basically what I do, if I needed a shorter nap or a longer nap, I just do it at the highest, which is three hours. And I'll, I'll come in and get her if it, if I really need her to be like two hours and 45 minutes if we have to go or something. Um, so it's not a huge big deal, but so there's that. And then um, you can set it with a light. So where's our, we got a light right here. Oh, hold on, let's find that light. So we do set. And see, I don't use a light on here. So that's why I'm having a hard time. Ah, there we go. So basically with this, I don't use the light and I don't use the sound because my little one has um, a sound machine and she has night lights, as you can see, right? There's one of them. She's got like four in her room and this would keep her up. It's really super bright and it's really close to her bed. What, what honey? Do another one what? I'll go get another one. Okay, go get another one. This is an awesome product. Um, basically what it is, is you set it to turn green when you want your baby to come out of the bedroom. And honestly, my child has only done it once where she has come out of her bedroom and it was insanely early and I asked her if Mel is green and she said no and she went back to bed. Um, so obviously every baby's different. This is on Amazon. I cannot remember how much it is. I will definitely put a link at the bottom, but it's super easy to figure out. And um, so yeah, that's that's basically what I do with Amela. I set it for naps. Um, nighttime is the same. The way it works for us for nighttime is she, this turns yellow 15 minutes before she comes, or uh, before she wakes up, then it turns green when she is allowed to come out of her bedroom. And, um, and yeah, this has many features on it and, um, but I don't, I, I'm pretty sure I already said this. I do recommend starting this right at the beginning of your routine when you want to transition your little one from a crib to a big boy or big girl bed. Okay. So she's awake now and Mel is not green yet. It is 7:35, and it, Sorry, both my monitors. Um, I have a little one as well. Um, he's one. And so I can kind of see her shenanigans and what she's doing. She's just playing with some babies and having fun. And she knows when Mel is green, she can come out. And it gives me a little more time to kind of finish up what I'm doing. Okay, it's eight o'clock in the morning and she just came out of her, or I'm sorry, her bed. Is Mel a green? Yeah. Mel is green? Okay. This is a process whenever she comes out of her room, she tells me Mel is green, which Mel is green and then you push this down it goes off if you want to turn it off and that's our video and if you like please thumbs up subscribe and i will check back with you guys later with some more helpful videos <laughs>